What's going on guys? This is Anton aka The Big Fella. As you can see I'm here at a cabin. I have a four day weekend which by the way Monday and Tuesday I'm going to be doing some hunting so stick around for that. Um, Saturday and Sunday we're here um, at the cabin just spending the weekend. Unfortunately it's raining. Um, they have a lake and all kinds of stuff here but um, don't know if I'm going to be doing any fishing or not because it's been raining since like Thursday night I believe. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go inside and I'll show you what the cabin looks like. It's actually a pretty neat little cabin. What you got there? Wow. Ooh. That's a cozy little spot. Oh, y'all made a lot of fun. Oh, does it? You guys don't have to excuse our bedroom. We didn't make our bed yet. You can hear the rain really good on this roof. Then we got a little jacuzzi bathtub. <laughs> yeah, so when I go hunting on Monday and Tuesday, I think I'm going to focus on trying to get a doe. Um, I was looking at my tags, I get three turkey tags, two for fall and spring, and one for spring only. Three buck tags and three doe tags. I've already used up a uh, buck tag already. Um, and there's a lot of uh, buck only days during firearm season, so I think I want to save those two tags for firearm. And maybe try to get a doe during RT season, then I'll still have uh, two doe tags as well. You know, trying to you know spread it out through the, to last throughout the hunting season. Um, there is an option to buy bonus tags but I think those are buck only as well and I think you have to use all of your other tags first so um, that's what the plan is that's why I'm going to go try and get me a doe on Monday and Tuesday to um, you know help fill the freezer and um, you know try to like preserve my buck tags for firearm season and other news I didn't even know it was turkey season so I guess I could shoot at those if I see one of them I always thought turkey season came in at November 22nd but I guess that's like firearms. I didn't even think about archery season for uh, turkeys. I think that came in October 6th. So I'm kind of stoked about that. So maybe I'll see a turkey and be able to get one of those too and be able to have a fresh turkey for Thanksgiving. That'd be cool. Yeah, no kidding. All right, you guys, the rain finally stopped for now at least. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a dip in the pool. Not this one, it's an indoor pool. Um, I'm telling you one thing though, that lake is looking magnificent right about now. I wish I bought my rods with me. Alright you guys, we're back from the swimming pool. It was a pretty fun time. We didn't stay that long. The chlorine was giving us headaches. We decided to come back to the uh, cabin and you know hang out for a little bit. Now I'm uh, cooking some dinner, just uh, some chicken breast on this little gas grill that's been provided. Um, soak them in Italian salad dressing so that should uh, make them a little more juicy but um, should be pretty good <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm up and at it again this morning, get ready to go for deer number two. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get to the spot because the sun is starting to come over the horizon right now. Alright you guys, I'm at the same wildlife management area that I killed my first deer at. Uh, I figured I wanted to come here because there's a lot of pines that's offering good winter protection for them. It's kind of on the windy side today. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and sit outside of one of the pine areas and um, hopefully something comes walking by. And before we get into hunt, I need to go ahead and open with a word of prayer. Lord Father God, we come to you now just to say thank you for this beautiful scenery that you've already provided for us earlier this morning. I ask that you bless this hunt. If I see anything that I should kill, Lord Father God, please bless that animal to provide food for my family, the hunting club, or whoever else I share it with. And please keep me safe out here, Lord. I'm by myself today, so uh, please keep me safe. These prayers and our prayers and pray for your holy name. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and start gathering this stuff, and uh, we'll go ahead and get us a hunt going. All right, you guys, so the camera that I have right here, as you can see, it's a lovely little cable coming out of it right now. Um, I left it in the truck to charge all night last night. I saw that it was charging great. So go inside, go to sleep, wake up this morning. I just pull it out, the battery's dead. Um, I guess the cable stopped working sometime last night. So um, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get on this. So um, hopefully it lasts. Um, hopefully it charges on my little battery pack here. But um, let me go ahead and uh, finish getting ready and uh, try to get us a deer today. Y'all, it's not my morning gear-wise at all. Um, the battery pack died too, so guess I'm gonna do without that head camera. I'll still try to get what I can with this if I kill anything, but uh, I'm gonna leave everything in the truck to charge, and um, hopefully if I don't kill anything, we go on a little afternoon hunt, it'll be all ready for that. wildlife management viewing platform and uh, see if I see anything over there I sat in a couple of areas you know along this path um, did some calls nothing responded didn't hear anything uh, while sitting quiet so I figured I'd go ahead and try to walk that way and see what I can get well y'all came back to the truck to check on the mini cam and that thing is just not charging for some reason I tried a couple different chargers and I'm beginning to think that the uh, charger port on the camera itself is going bad. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that at this point. It'd be nice to have one of those GoPro Hero 7s. But I think that's like 400 bucks. Maybe Santa will bring it to me for Christmas if I behave enough. Well, you guys, not much going on here today. I did jump a doe back there by the river, but um, it was a small one, so I really didn't pursue it. Um, did a couple sits back there and, you know, did some calling. Nothing really called back. I don't know if they can't hear me because all the leaves and stuff rustling from the wind, but um, figured I'd go try this other area, uh, like a couple miles up the street. I've never hunted it before, and it's significantly smaller than this. So I probably won't be there long, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Alright you guys, day two of this. I had to bundle up a little bit because it's kind of chilly out here this morning. You can see my breath coming through my face shield and everything. But um, I didn't hunt this ground yesterday, so I figured I'd give it a whirl today. Um, I think I got a lot of walking to do, so let me go ahead and get back here. Just a little button buck, I'm gonna let him go. 
Well, you guys, I know this video seems like it's all over the place, um, mainly due to my little mini cam dying, which, by the way, I have some footage on there. I can't get it off the SD card for some reason. My laptop doesn't like it. Um, it really didn't amount to much anyway, but that's completely dead. Like, I can't even get it to charge or turn on or anything at this point, even with um, the spare battery that came with it. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe Santa Claus will bring me a GoPro Hero 7 for Christmas. Who knows? We'll see. But, um, you know, it was a great four-day weekend for us, uh, staying out there in the cabin, getting to relax a little bit, and um, get, having a couple days to hunt. I didn't shoot anything, unfortunately. Um, I saw a couple doe in the uh, on day number two that I went hunting. They were just on the other side of that cornfield. Like, if I would have tried to show it to you guys on camera, you guys wouldn't have been able to see it. Like that little button buck that came up on me. But um, you know, it was still fun being out there, just seeing some a deer get that close to me before even like realizing I was there. Um, that was pretty cool. But um, I got a little hunt um, getting ready to happen this week. I want to take both boys with me, so that should be really interesting. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, sight in my shotgun. I want to do a couple rounds with my regular full choke that came with the shotgun and that Bucks Kicker uh, extra full choke to see how uh, the pattern compares. And that way I want to show it to you guys as well because I know one of you guys asked me to do that. So I want to go ahead and do that for you. But um, that's going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode where you can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too.